We're going to walk through a typical uh, voter scenario, what the voter is going to see on election day coming to the polls. First thing that we'll do is we'll come up to the poll worker and we'll present our ID and we'll put our ID in the tray. The poll worker will scan my driver's license that will give them uh, obviously my address and allow me to get a card encoded with my precinct information. They spin the poll pad around to me. I will sign my name. They'll encode my voter card, get my voter card, and I will walk over to the machine. All right, so I put my voter card into the machine. Um, I get my ballot, then going through my ballot, I can make my choices. I can use the next and previous buttons to navigate through the ballot. When I'm done with the ballot, I am presented with the review screen. I can scroll down and verify who I voted for for each contest. Um, if I want to jump back into a contest because I didn't make enough selections, I can do that. In order to change a vote, I would need to deselect and then select the person I wanted. Once I'm satisfied with everything on the ballot, I select print ballot, given another option to either print or go back and review my choices, I'm going to select print ballot. All right. So once my ballot's printed, I'm going to take my voter card, and I'm going to take my ballot, and again, I'm given the option to um, verify who I voted for on the ballot, and then I'm going to walk over to the scanner. All right, so I'm going to come over to the ballot scanner, and I'm just going to insert my ballot. Then the machine's telling me that it's processing and casting my ballot. And then it says that the ballot's been successfully cast. And at this point, I hand my voter card back to the poll worker.